first things first, if you can kind of talk to me about what it was like directing Good Burger 2 and how the location where you filmed played a role in that. Yeah, well, I'd never been to Rhode Island before, so um, it was like a joy. It was like I was on vacation for the whole year. I did my a few months prep, prep, and then uh, and then we started shooting, and everyone got behind it. It really felt like the community of, of Providence, and then Warwick, and you know, wherever we were filming in in um, in Rhode Island, got behind the movie. So the whole experience was really fun. You know, and Keenan and Keller very welcoming. So so it felt like a community was sort of building a the the, the new uh, the new film. Yeah. And so what was that like filming? Because I know I'd been at the set a couple of times and almost every time that I was there, there were dozens of people there trying to be a part of the movie, to coming to talk to you, trying to talk to Keenan and Kel. What was that like? I it was great. It just kept the energy up really good. But but and not only were people really enthusiastic, they were also really respectful. So if we asked them to be quiet, like because you need quiet when you're filming the scene, you know, you can't just have cheering outside Good Burger for no reason. Um, if you and so often I've been in situations where you say, you know, could you be quiet and everyone is not quiet. But uh, but I think something to do with the franchise and something to do with Keenan and Kel, there was a lot of love for it and people wanted it to be wanted it to be good. So um, so they were really respectful. And so it, it just created a really nice energy around it, um, yeah. which was just charming to be part of. Yeah, and so we noticed that there are also a lot of ce celebrity appearances in this movie as well. What was that like, trying to coordinate these almost surprises there and then having people watching and you're trying to make sure, hey, you guys can't know this person's on set. What was that like? It was hard to keep any secrets because there's a lot, a lot of people and there's a lot of a lot of people watching and a lot of famous people arriving and blacked out cars and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, everyone just wanted to be there. So, uh, so it, it was, there was no real stress about it. Yeah. And we kept a few surprises. There, there's a couple of surprises who's, who actually doesn't seem like it's been leaked. So I'm amazed. Obviously when the film comes out, you want to be one of the first people to watch it so that otherwise people will be talking, you know? Yeah. And so when it comes to directing this movie, was there a specific scene or a specific part that really like stood out to you that you were like, I am proud of this? <laughs> Um, and I'm proud of all of it. I'm proud of the feeling that it gives you. I'm proud of watching people watch it and giggling away and seeing that they, I don't know, not stressed. I'm proud that I'm proud that families can watch it and there's just no bad content in there. Like I've got three kids of my own, and you know sometimes you're watching a film like, oof, I don't know about if I want them to see that bit of it. But it, this is so silly and sort of and optimistic and and good spirited you know that i'm i'm proud that that tone came through the whole thing so that uh, that people watch it with a smile on their face and you know forget about their stresses yeah and so this comes out next week is there anything specifically that you want people to know or how you would almost encourage them to check this out huh? well you don't have to have seen the original but if people have seen the original or spend in the next week find the time to watch the original I think it's a, that's good because you you sort of see the origin story of how Keenan and Kel in the film become friends and and all of that. So that's that's sort of their homework. I mean, that's the best homework that anyone's ever been given, right? Oh. And then um, and then I just want people to watch it. I, I I really think it is a film that you can watch, uh, you can have on a lot of times. Like it, you know, it's 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 comfortable and it's fun. So I'd like people to get together, watch it. There's no no drama watching it with you, with younger people, with older people, with a bunch of, you know, uh, at a party, having it on and not paying attention or paying full attention, trying to spot the Easter eggs. Like it should just be part, part of your life. I mean, the, the original was part of people's life for like 25 years. So it'd be nice to be, to drop into that and uh, and be part of it again, yeah. Yeah, and so another thing I noticed, the the vehicle kind of talked to us about that and kind of transporting that from set to set and what that was like using it in the video in the film. Driving that around Providence was fun. Like people were just screaming. Um, yeah, that was great. And 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 it didn't break down that many times. The the pickles, the pickles fell off the wheels a few times when we went around corners. And we were like, no, the hubcaps like, ah, the pickle, the pickle. <laughs> um, but really fun. I mean, why why aren't more cars more fun? I just, it, it, I, I bet you just look at all the cars. I've, I've got two cars and they're, they're like gray. It's like so boring. I don't understand why they're not painted with things. All I want to do is paint people's cars now. 
<laughs> Love that. And so is there anything that I haven't asked you that you would like to add as we wrap up? No, but I'd like to say thank you to the people of Rhode Island for welcoming us so much. It really was a, it really was fun. Um, in my weekends, I play pickleball at the Ocean State Pickleball Club. So I'll give them a shout out. So even for sort of, even on my weekends off, I was having fun in Rhode Island. And then, and then hopefully everyone just loves the movie as much as I love making it.